Hey, welcome to Generative Art with Flutter. Flutter is a cross-platform mobile and desktop app development framework. You can create amazing looking user interfaces with it, but I'm going to use it to draw onto the canvas and make animations. First of all, past week I've been super busy and didn't have enough time to experiment in depth. Apologies for that. But I hope you'll find something useful in this video. Here's a sneak peek into what we will be creating this week. So we have an ominous looking black blob. So much, so much darkness, a bit evil perhaps. But if you look closely, uh, it is made up of circles and they shimmer like this. Can you guess how this was made? There are several parameters we can change here to create a slightly different effect. Uh, for example, thickness is being one. We can change the speed as well. We can change the direction and it gives this illusion uh, like it is moving towards the boundary or something. So let's get into the code and see how this is made. We start from what we had in the last week. We have already wired these functions to the correct place so they just work. I will create a new function to create a particle and give it a few parameters, color, radius, and a position. Um, get random position will create a point inside a given parameter so we can conveniently use the polar coordinates. Uh, of course, the circles will appear around the origin, so let's bring it back to the center of the screen. Uh, most of the heavy lifting is done by the by the compositing effect. You can use XOR, but it's f ugly. <laughs> I think I had a migraine looking at it. Now let's move these rings. For that, we assign a static velocity. Of course, we will use polar units for that. And the update will be simply adding to the position. The idea is simple. We keep adding new particles and then remove the old ones. Uh, keep the size of the list to a constant size. It crashes here because I'm an idiot and used less than instead of more than. So it looks okay on the simulator, but simulator becomes very slow and makes my computer go mental when it has to draw too many particles. So the screen recordings you saw earlier were grabbed from an iPad running this app. Um, that's it for this week. Again, apologies for the short video. We'll do something better next time. Like always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what I create, please hit that like button, subscribe and share to support the channel. See you next time.